We're going to expand this block of code now to check multiple conditions. Um, currently, we're using one if statement to basically check the name variable for the value Mr. Ahmed. Um, if that bit of data is stored inside that variable, it's going to display this line on line four. It's going to output, hi, Mr. Ahmed, you are amazing. Um, if you do not type in Mr. Ahmed, it's then going to display the message, you are not Mr. Ahmed, and then it's going to end the program. I want to make this code check for a second name now. And to check another condition, you're going to use a statement called the else if statement. Um, else if. Okay, and you're going to add it um, right after your if statement or the first if statement and before the else. So I'm going to check now to see if that name variable contains another variable or another piece of data. So else if name equals, let's say we're looking for Mr. Simpson. Okay, then let's make it output text window dot, oh, what? right line. And then in quotations, of course. Hi, Mr. Simpson. You're okay, I guess. Okay. And then just to edit this, in case they don't type in Mr. Ahmed or Mr. Simpson, so let's add Mr. Simpson's name here. Okay. So what I've done now is I've created an else if statement inside my if statement block. The first name or the first bit of data which is checked is Mr. Ahmed. So it checks to see if the name variable contains the value Mr. Ahmed. Um, if it does not contain the value Mr. Ahmed, it then checks to see if it contains the value Mr. Simpson. Um, if Mr. Simpson is stored inside the name variable, then it displays this message here. Else, if the variable doesn't contain Mr. Ahmed or Mr. Simpson, it's going to finally display this last line here on line 8 and say you are not Mr. Ahmed or Mr. Simpson. So let's quickly run that now to give it a quick check. Let's type in Mr. Ahmed first. There we go, it's displayed the message, hi Mr. Ahmed, you're amazing. Let's check now to see what happens if I type in Mr. Simpson. Oh, that's nice, about it. Simpson, there we go, hi Mr. Simpson, you're okay I guess. And let's type in a name which is not on here. Let's type in Mr. Apple. And there you go. It goes for final message. You are not Mr. Ahmed or Mr. Simpson. And then it ends the program. So whenever you want to check for multiple conditions, conditions um, you want to use the else if statement. If I want to check for another condition, um, I'll just demonstrate here. Uh, you're going to type in another else if statement. So if I want to check for a third name, Again, type in else if name equals Mr. Apple. Then, and then obviously I get another message popping up. Text window dot write lines or line. I Mr. Apple, and so on, so on. So else if statements are basically used to check multiple conditions, and you would use an if statement just to check one single condition.